Yo, it's definitely the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hmm. Now, lately, I've been hearing a lot of slander, false accusations, trying to tarnish my good name. Allow me to retort, Mr. 22. See, ever since the Black Cloud has rained down upon the 22 offices in Burbank, I've seen a shift. A shift in what, you may ask? A shift in you, my brother. I am concerned, concerned of your well-being because... What's the word, gang? So look, man. We got this whole situation been going down for maybe a few weeks since Crip Mac been going to, been going to jail. And um, Adam 22, China Mac, they ain't been seeing eye to eye. They been sending a lot of shots at each other. Adam even in interviewed a transgender who basically said that um, China Mac allegedly was his manager. Now, it don't even stop there. So Adam, you know, he seen the message Crip Mac put out basically saying how you know, he, he washing his hands from it. He done with it. You know, people trying to turn Crip Mac against him. And then they going to the public, putting out different um, statements and shit, making it seem a certain type of way in regards to his character. So China, China Mac, you know, he actually gets some love from Crip Mac's mother. That's C-Mac Mama Bear, right? She goes and says China Mac was truly the only one that had C-Mac's best interest in mind. And here at the end, it's unfortunate that's the circus. And it is definitely a circus. And um, China Mac goes to respond to that. He says, Moms always knows best. Adam is doing what the devils do best. They instigate and divide. It's a part of the DNA. But those who matter know what's up. At C Mac, Mama Bear, it's always been love and always will be love. I don't have any resentment towards your son, but there are just some things. That as a man, I cannot allow. I truly wish the best for C-Mac. I hate to see him, him be used like this, but it, it is what it is. If you ever need anything, my phone number will always be on for you. Free C-Mac. So, you know, it's, it's definitely an unfortunate situation where some of the people that did have um, Crip Mac best interests is not around like right now. You know, Foz, you know, when he was on his climb, you know, doing his number. And we can even go back and say ODM Slim is one of them. You know, ODM Slim seemed like he had his best interest, was trying to help the homie, stuff like that. And then um, China Mac ended up coming around, and they took it there, bro. It wasn't just about, like, gang banging and, you know, like, shit for social media. It was more so like, look, C-Mac, I'm going to show you how to enjoy yourself and you still be able to profit from it. And we seen that with um, Mac Adventures. You know, they was able to go fishing. They was able to go to theme parks, to different restaurants. And if that, that would have kept going, for sure, people would have, you know, just like the guy um, Keith Lee, people would have probably started, like, look, C-Mac approve. You feel me? I could see that would have been the next direction. And uh, y'all know China Mac. I don't know, like, um, how did he figure it out? But I can tell he definitely knows what he's doing when it comes to the social media. I hear that he's back in New York. Maybe we'll see um, China Mac start to help out um, Zip with the Drip. You know, because Zip with the Drip, he, he pretty much got it. He just needs some type of direction. You know, and um, I believe China Mac definitely got the sauce. But um, like I said, y'all, this is an unfortunate situation. You know, all behind BS. You know, hearsay, she say. Because I'm pretty sure it's things that's being told to China Mac about Crip Mac as well as Crip Mac being told things about China Mac. You feel me? So it's, it's just an unfortunate situation, family. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. It's Duffer the Cloud Chaser TV. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. Gang.